nuts. So, pretty much today, I know this is like the closest together I've ever posted a YouTube video. So, y'all should be proud of me. I told y'all I'm gonna get back on it. But, uh, today, a bunch of things we gotta get covered. Uh, I got a day off. It's Thursday, so I'm actually. I hope y'all can hear me right. But it's actually the day before Christmas Eve, so the 23rd, I think it is, December 23rd. So we got off of work today. First things first, hey. <coughs> if I don't die, we gotta run to Covington, where I absolutely hate going with the passion. Hopefully all the morning work traffic be out there. But we gotta run to Covington and go steal some money out of my bank account and then cry about it for about six hours, but uh, no. We're trying to get in our set for the P5. As I mentioned in the last video, the Sassy, the 25 Sassy, are just my buddies I'm borrowing. And honestly, I don't like running them on the stock bike like that. So we've been looking on Marketplace. We found a set of Outlaw 2s, 28 Outlaw 2s over in Florence, Mississippi. We might go take a look at some point this weekend or next week. They look like a pretty decent tray. They came off a of player, so they're just on regular black MSA, I mean black SS's with the machine caps like my old Outlaw 2's were on the 420. So we're probably gonna take a look at them and see what they all about. But yeah, so that's the first thing we're gonna pull the money for that. But once we do that, we're gonna come back and yeah, I need to test the snorkel on the p5 again i did it last week i tested it out in the pond i didn't get it on video or nothing but it had a slight leak still it was leaking i pulled the drain plug and it had i don't know maybe that much water in the hose not in the air box in the hose that comes down on the bottom of the p5 air box so went ahead and resealed the crankcase where a crankcase enters that so stupid design how they did that but we resealed it Resealed the uh, mass airflow sensor in the airbox too, and I think that's I think that's actually where it was like from one of them too. So we'll back it in today. I didn't want to do it first thing this morning because it's like you know my truck says 49 degrees, but my phone said 44 degrees, so I don't know. It's just cold, know that. And my waders have a huge hole in them, so I'm gonna get wet. I won't get soaked, but my whole right leg will get wet. So we're gonna wait for it to warm up a little before we do that, but. We're gonna test the snorkel out. We might go rip the, we might go rip the 520 a little, the Rubicon at the sandbar and stuff. I want to take the P5 to the sandbar too and check out a few things I've been tweaking with and test them out in that sand. Because as far as it goes now, the Sassies and the P5 didn't like the sand really, and I think it was just the Sassies. But hopefully we can get the 28 LL2s and that'll help out a lot. Be a lot lighter, a lot less weight on the tires and stuff for the stock motor and whatnot now. But so yeah. Go ahead, to Covington. I'm gonna go get this money out of my account. Probably grab some breakfast. We'll get heading back, and I'll holler at y'all then. So let's do it. So the waders most definitely are still soaking wet on the inside. I need some new ones, bad dude. But I think the whole game plan we're gonna do is just put shorts on and no socks because I really don't feel like putting jeans on just to get them all wet and stuff. So then we can go shorts and no socks and just freeze our butt off for a little while. And then hurry up and as soon as we get out, take them off and go run put the jeans and stuff back on. But we're gonna go ahead, dress it up. We're gonna hop in it, go ride around for a little while. I wanna get up the good operating temp and then back in just to test the whole idle and thing again. Cause last time I did it, it was cold. So I wanna get the idle, I mean, operating temperature and then go from there. But uh, just look at this thing. She looks mean. 5% 10 on the whip. You gotta have that. I mean, it's really not even that bad. Like, honestly, during the daytime, it's not bad. But at nighttime, with headlights on and LED bar, you can barely see anything out of it. So, I think we're actually gonna rip that off and go ahead and throw 35 or 20 on it. And yes, I know there's a rat nest right here. It's for the speakers, they're temporary. We ripped them off the other bike. And we had to, we didn't have to, but I wanted something for tower tracks. So I was like, well, I ain't gonna buy a soundbar yet because I want to go tower speakers on it. So we're just gonna do these now for temporary for New Year's ride at tower trash. 
and that's kind of where we got with that so anyhow let's go ahead i guess get all these off get into freezing cold waders go drive around for a little bit and back her in there and see what happens <laughs> Can't make a full lock turn with 20.5. Definitely need the lift. That will do the frame mod. I got a hook lift in my bag I can put on it, but I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I went in and threw y'all on the chest mount. I feel like this is gonna be the best, uh, the best kind of view while in there. And honestly, probably would've been good on the head mount too, but we're gonna try chest mount out first and see where it goes from there. We're gonna try to set the phone. There's <coughs> cold again. Try to set the phone up on the bank so already kind of videos going in and whatnot, things like that. So let's go ahead and get over by the pond, set the phone up, and yeah, we'll get straight into it. I'm really hoping I got the snorkel sealed. Like I said, it wasn't bad last time. Like, it didn't leak much. I was in there for a little while, but it leaked a little. And I'm trying to get no leakage at all. I want 0% leak. So, test it right here again. And then go from there, figure out where it's leaking from. If it is leaking, pray it's not. And seal it up again. Just keep trying until we get it right. Phone set up right there. Pond, P5. I guess uh I'll just dive straight into it. I think every let me check the drain hose line just in case. Uh, okay, it's on. It's on. I think everything's good, everything's dielectric grease, sealed, closed. So shall I leave this door open? Nah. God, I'm not ready for these waders to leak all over me. Should I put it on the chest mount or put it on the We'll leave chest mount for now. Oh, okay. That dropped off pretty good. Ooh, that exhaust is hot right now, cuz. I'm gonna lock her in. It's very soft on time. We're gonna open that. If I sit down, I'm really going to get wet. Well, she died once right there. But uh, she's doing pretty good. She's idling good so far. So that's good. I'm sure it was just goes motor hot, hit heat shock when it hit the water. Gotta let it adjust, get immune to the water. Same thing on my 420, you used to do that too. If the motor was really hot, bike, I mean, yeah, motor was really hot, water was really cold, it wouldn't do it. You gotta let it get used to water, adjust to the temperature, 
Let your thermostat and the motor adjust to the temperature and everything. Oh man, my door closed. She's idling good now. Snorkel's purring pretty good. She's sucking good. All right. Let's see if I can find my way back in this thing. Ah. Where's the seat at? Where's the door? Ugh. I really do not want to sit down in that. I've had this thing like a week. Bought it bone stock a week ago. And here we are. All right, let's see if we can't find first gear. Let's go ahead and stick her down on two wheel drive. Oh, that is cold. All right, let's go. Oh my God, my waders are full of water. Oh, that is freezing. Okay, that's cold. Let's see what this drain plug looks like. Uh, we got a little in there. Uh, not a lot, but not what I like to see. All right, let's go ahead and get these waders off. Pull this in the shop. We'll pull the bed off. We're gonna pop the airbox lid again and see if we can't find where it's leaking from. So pretty much first things first, we're gonna take out two, four, six, eight, eight of these 12 millimeter bolts. Whole back rack comes off, plastic fenders, everything, and it's straight access to the airbox from there. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this off, Break the seal on the lid and try to look inside that airbox if we can and see where water is dripping or leaking in or whatnot. So I'll get right back to y'all as soon as we get this off. See if we can't get this clamp off, drain all that water. All that water we got in the hose. It's not a bunch, but it, like I said, it's more than I want, no doubt. Like, these things are such a pain to get off. It's really not bad, but. It's not good. Let's go ahead and crack the air box. We'll get it open. Once we crack it, I'll probably jump back on the phone and start recording off my phone. Just because it's going to be easier. It's going to be hard to see it with the GoPro. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got the lid off. I know it's probably hard to tell from the phone and you can barely see it. Crankcase looks good. I don't see anything around that. Airflow sensor looks good. Top looks good. But right behind the throttle body intake, you see these little beads. You can probably barely see There's little beads of water dripping from behind here, going into there, into that puddle, right where the drain hose comes out of it. So them beads got me kind of concerned. I'm thinking there's probably a crack or something in the silicone on the bottom of the throttle body intake, sucking in to come in right there. So I'm gonna take the phone, video back up in there see if i can't see if it's for sure coming in right there but as far as that goes i don't have any more silicone i used it all the other night so yeah we're pretty much out so i'm just gonna have to jump back on this video whenever i do get it resealed and i don't know the next video will probably make it be tower tracks i know i said that last time but i just want to get this on video for y'all but we're gonna go ahead and get that sealed up get it all fixed up and whatnot and then Go from there. Hopefully, tower trash should be a good video and all that, whatnot. So, oh, if I drop my phone, if I could turn around. But as always, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, I'll jump back on if I do anything more interesting on this. As of now, I'm just going to have to go to town, get silicone sealed up and all that stuff. Old lady and them should be getting home here pretty soon. We're going to do our little Christmas this evening when we're going to spend time with them. So, we'll go ahead and cut this video. But, uh, as always, like and subscribe, please. Click your little bell so you know whenever I post, I'll start posting more. I appreciate y'all's support. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate the feedback and all that. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you want me to see more of, if you have any questions. 
and I'll try to get back with them all as always. So love you guys and have a Merry Christmas.